government makes moves to ensure that this country complies with international gaming standards. It's proposing private members' club legislation to regulate the industry. Minister of Finance Larry Hawaii says the legislation could add up to $300 million to the Treasury from taxes from the gaming industry. Karen Gose Philip has more. Minister Hawaii says gambling has the potential to lead to crime as well as devastating consequences for a small minority of customers, including minors and problems for compulsive gamblers. In summary, all casino operations conducted by self-styled private members clubs and all gaming machine operations excluding the amusement prize categories wherever located in recreational clubs, in pubs, in arcades and in shopping malls are illegal activities under the current legislative framework prevailing in Trinidad and Tobago. He says there has always been a major dilemma. Should gambling be regulated with emphasis on tourism, on enhancing public revenue, on protecting the consumer or player, on protecting the vulnerable, including children and problem gamblers, and preventing crime, including money laundering, or should it be banned? Regulation would, on balance, benefit the society with a reduction in social concerns, maintaining employment, which at present amounts to approximately 7,000 individuals, with an associated weekly wage bill of 6.7 million, or approximately $350 million a year, and increased tax revenue from corporation taxes, bearing in mind that in 2012, excise taxes amounted to 28 million, and I'm advised that with a properly regulated industry, this figure could rise to as high as 300 million. And he notes that the lack of gaming regulations has had an impact on foreign investment. They have indicated to us that, in a sense, coming into Trinidad, they would not want to embark on any gaming activities associated with their hotel business until such time as um, we have a proper gaming industry in place. Minister Hawaii says the proposed regulatory system will set out the types and classes of gaming permitted, the nature of the games permitted, the location of such games and gaming machines, as well as other criteria. He says it will take about 12 months before the legislation is put in place. On Monday, the owner of Island Club Casino in Grand Bazaar was charged with evading $1 million U.S. dollars in taxes. He allegedly took steps to conceal his income and assets from the IRS. Minister Hawaii was not at liberty to comment on the matter. Karen Kozia-Philip, CNews.